it's it's actually majorly mostly why it's connected you know it's this it's not just the surgery that restricted me in life it's the condition trigeminal neuralgia that's actually had that effect you don't know when you're going to have your next pain and when you do have your pain it can be manageable sometimes with painkillers or it can be to a point you're screaming and you want to stick a knife in your face to just cut this nerve because it's unbearable it's actually known as the suicide disease because it has such a high percentage of people who commit suicide because it's just it's just agony. It's the worst pain condition you can have. And then it's rare. And then I get it, of course, of all people in my early 20s and basically spent my 20s in and out of hospital. I had a very bad case of it. And it meant that I had to it meant that I had to miss out on a lot of things in life. And I didn't want to live anymore. I was at my worst. And so when I, my wife got me in front of the surgeon that would do it, the leading guy, she went and like basically camped out at the hospital and said, you will see her. She's not in this district, but you need to. And he had a little look and he went, you're right, I need to see her, this is bad. And um, yeah, so he fixed me. And then I had a car accident and bashed my head so hard, it kind of messed up all the bits that I had done. So gradually I was getting the pains real bad again. So I got rushed in and they did it again. And they, um, this time they shredded the nerve and as well as padding it all out in the hope that this would really help. Um, and it did, but the downside is the recovery was a lot worse. I short to memory loss, made them watch Love Actually three times in a day because I didn't know I watched it the previous time. Um, so yes, yeah, so I had short to memory loss. My speech was not very good because I've got no feeling from here down to half of my tongue. I can't feel, I can't feel anything along this side. I still get pains. That's the only thing I do get is pain, but otherwise this is constantly like I've been to the dentist and had it numbed. So as you can imagine, eating, talking, everything was, it was all having to learn again. Coordination went out the window, walking. It, it was hard. It was very difficult, that one. But it did work. And I am the outcome. And I know that I'm going to have to have it done again at some point in life. Um, but what I do know is that I can't let it rule me. I can't live in fear. I've lived in fear for 10 years with it. This is my 30s. We got over COVID. I'm going to seize the day. I'm going to push myself. Um, and that's what I've done. So that's why I came on the show. And I really want people to know that no matter what you've got, you can't let it rule what you want to do. You've got to go for it. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, and hence the missions as well. I wouldn't have been able to do it. I wouldn't have about any cold breeze, any cold water, anywhere too hot, any stress, any upset. If I cried, I'd get a pain. If I got stressed, I'd get a pain. If I was in the cold, I couldn't go outside in winter. I, I still have to wear earmuffs now just to take the pressure off. So, um, so yeah, so it's, yeah, it's not been the best time, but...